529-1450. I got to catch my breath after that one. <laughs> He's good. It, it's it's true. I really I mean and it, and it's you know, it's good to start thinking about next year. Yeah, because, oh yeah. You know, We're almost there. It does sneak up on you. Sadly. 529-1450 Fantasy Football 101 on Sports Radio 1450. What can we do for you? Ladies? Not a yes. Thing to say. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> What's up, man? Hey, I got I got two questions for you. One, um, are, do you guys do your stuff on on the online? Where yes. You can yeah. hear the show online. Yes. All right, because sportsradio1450.com. Yeah, I got the website. I mean, because as of the end of the month, I'm moving for a job, so I want to make sure I can still listen to your guys' show. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Uh, another thing, it's my flex player, Ocho Cinco or Hightower. Points per reception? Yes. Okay. Ocho or Hightower? Well, Ocho's got a tough matchup yeah, against he's... Pittsburgh. Yeah. What did he do the first week against the night? I, I, Very I little. I don't have the stats, but I remember seeing them. They flashed across, and they were not that good. Uh, points per reception, Hightower is usually good for at least four to seven. Uh, just passes alone. So with, with the matchup Ocho has... I think Hightower might be the play here because I know he's going to get passes, yardage. He'll split carries uh, running with uh, Beanie, so I, I think the Hightower might be the way to go for you this week. I totally agree. And point for reception formats, I believe, and I'm looking right now, but I believe Hightower is, if, if he's not in the top ten of running backs, he's right outside of it. He's actually a, a pretty high-scoring back in point for reception leagues. So, well, he's a guy, when he's got a good matchup, you just kind of have to plug him in. Yeah, I got him right here. Yeah, at 11, I think. So he's, he's, he's scoring. He's a play, Eric. Yeah. yeah, he's scoring quite a few points this year. All right, guys. Yep. Good luck. Good show, man. All right, look. 529-1450, I'm looking right now. We are looking at five receptions for 54 yards. Shout out to Joe Cinco yeah. against Pittsburgh. And, you know, the thing real quick with Ocho, he had another problem this week with the uh, uh, league Remember last week he had the dollar bill thing? He was going to bribe the ref. Yeah. The wink, wink, nod, nod. Well, yeah, fine. That dollar, the dollar uh, joke turned into a $20,000 fine. You know, this guy has to have money to burn. I just don't get it. Well, he sure does. I love it, dude. I love it. I'm going to be real honest. I love Chad Ochocinco. I hated him. Hated him. But this year, I've just, I've just fallen in love. I don't mind antics if you're playing well. It's, yeah, it's exactly. When you're still acting like that, when your team's losing and you're not doing anything, then it shows me that you're not focused on, on what's going on. But wait, Ocho Cinco's having a great year. Oh, yeah. And so the antics just bring more yeah, bring Absolutely. more attention, gives us something to talk about. I like it. Agreed. You know what I mean? Well, look no, I know, and I know exactly what you mean. That's a, that's a wonderful sight, blinking lights on the phone. Yeah, I know. Keep, I know. keep them coming. Just, keep them coming. <laughs> 529 1450, it's Fantasy Football 101. What's up? Hi, I just wanted to know what you guys thought about my second running back position. I got three guys splitting carries. Okay. Looking at Jamal Charles, uh, Beanie Wells, and Sean Green. I think Charles is the best player, but I just wanted your opinion. I'll hang up and look. Real, real quick, PPR league? Yes. Okay, thank you. All right, thanks. Eric, what do you think? I like that Jamal Charles matchup. I, I, I do, too. I really do, too. I think Charles uh, is going to uh, be a good back for them. He gives them something that Larry Johnson had in the last couple of years. He gives them speed. He's good out of the backfield with receptions. Uh the other guys, Benny Wells is coming on, but right now High Towers, we spoke before, is is playing very well. Yeah. And Sean Green's not in the mix right now, but uh, I think Jamal Charles is it'll be a real nice play for this guy. Yeah, I mean just volume alone. There's nobody competing for touches with Jamal Charles. The other two guys are in a committee system. Benny Wells, like you said, he's been progressively getting better week to week, but still, I mean he hasn't really taken that spot as a guy that you plug yeah. in every week. I think last week might have been like his best week and he had 70 yards and no catches. So, yeah, I think you have to go Jamal Charles. We'll head to break. We'll come back with injuries and your calls at 529-1450. Maybe it's early for Thanksgiving, but it's never 